Hi, I'm Ryan from Scout Campers, and today we're going to talk about the new diesel heater option. Uh, there's some questions about how easy it is to use and, the, and uh, how well it works. Well, we made some tweaks to this diesel heater, and this thing works fantastic. So you can see here you have the uh, Zargus box, 2.75 gallon tank, and uh, easy to fill single cap here. Uh, fill it up nicely. Um, some of the reasons we switched to it were that it uh, performs better in altitudes, it's higher BTU, it's a drier heat, it has a thermostat, so you don't have to get out of bed at three and then turn it off. And um, the heat now has a vent that enters closer to the Goal Zero Yeti. So the Goal Zero Yeti is a lithium power pack. It doesn't like freezing cold temperatures. So in the winter time, if you're going below 32 or zero in Canada, um, you're gonna to wanna to keep the Goal Zero Yeti warm. So you can do other things like get a thermal blanket or, or a heat pad to put under the Goal Zero, uh, run a duct right to the Goal Zero Yeti. But from factory, the camper will come set up with a vent that kind of aims the heat, pushes it towards the Goal Zero Yeti. The Goal Zero Yeti is, you know, about this far off the ground. So the campers do get pretty warm if you have a thermostat running and keeping the temperature um, steady inside the camper above freezing. Should be good, but you can do extra things to uh, prevent any chance of getting too cold. But let's go inside and have a look at this diesel heater and how easy it is to operate. Operating the diesel heater is super easy. Basically you walk up to it and it's got a screen, tap the screen, it looks like a snowflake, push the button in the middle, it looks like a coffee cup, a little steam coming off it. I give that a minute or two, it'll fire up, you can already hear the fan kicked in. But um, if you're starting from scratch, the first thing you'd want to do is hit the settings button in the top right corner, change the uh, heating mode to external sensor. So that's going to and hit the home button, that's going to put you into a home button twice. It's going to bring you back to the main display. You can adjust your temperature with your finger. If you want to change it to Fahrenheit, you just go into system settings from Celsius to Fahrenheit, home button twice. And we can set this thing with our fingers. Drag your finger to 75 Fahrenheit and it'll be nice and warm in here. And that's really all there is to the operation. Push this button in the middle again. It looks like a coffee cup with steam. That's gonna fire up in a couple minutes and you have a nice hot camper. Uh, this vent is brand new. Uh, so this vent now allows the heat from the diesel heater to come in at an angle, which will enter closer to the Goal Zero Yeti and help keep it warm in the winter time. Uh, so if you're not using a heat pad or you're not going to uh, run a duct or anything, this vent will actually aim the heat closer to the Goal Zero Yeti and help keep it warm in the winter, which is awesome if you're cold weather camping. Mm -hmm. 